Wattstopper's push and learn technology allows you to easily reconfigure system operations with the configuration button that's found on most DLM devices. In this video presentation, we'll show you how to reconfigure wall switches to be assigned to particular loads in the room. Currently, the loads are sequentially assigned to the buttons. Button 1 is controlling load 1, button 2 controlling load 2, and button 3 is unassigned and you can see the blue LED flashing. If I want to change how that button works, all I need to do is put the switch into a push and learn configuration mode and assign each load to that third button. I do this by using any sharp tool and pressing the configuration button on the side of the device. After three seconds, a red LED will appear in the window of the switch and load one will turn on. At this point, all I need to do is select button three and you can see that the blue LED lights up indicating that that button is now bound to load one. To move to the next load, I just press and release the configuration button and we're now at load two and you can see that button number two is assigned to that load and we're going to go ahead and add button three. If I want to check the work that I've done, I can just press and release, go back to load one, check load two, and now that I've confirmed that the binding is correct, I need to exit out of the configuration mode. I do that by pressing and holding again the configuration button for three seconds. Once that's complete, I now have the opportunity to use this switch and verify its operation. So there you have load one, load two, and load one and two combined on the three button switch. Reconfiguring a switch is just that easy with digital lighting management.